I'm sure that we find our own ways to clear congestion in our ears. All sorts of ways to dig it out, that's for sure. I felt like there was something burrowing its way (gasps) into my brain. All right, you ready for this? No, no, no. And I said, there's a cockroach. Ah, Okay, that's my biggest fear. Hey again, I'm Mike. It's Sonia, and welcome to We Need to Talk About This. Earwax today. Mike, you know, I'm sure that we find our own ways to clear congestion in our ears. All sorts of ways to dig it out, that's for sure. Boy, we need to ask a professional. So, Dr. Teo, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. You know, I'm so curious because we always get in there, we use Q-tips, we use, I don't know, whatever it is to try to remove wax. Yeah, exactly. So, anything that you want to bust here, any myths, should we be sticking anything in our ears at all? Well, we should never put anything in our ears, much less a Q-tip, bobby pins or hooks. Um, Earwax is actually harmless. It comes out by itself. Um, There's a mechanism where the skin migrates and pushes the wax out of the canal. When you swallow and your jaw movement also helps to move the wax out. So there's really no need to clear it. So if but... you're singing, for you go karaoke, <laughs> your earwax just starts falling out. Flying out. <laughs> so... But if you do have an issue, then mm. um, we could you could use drops to soften the wax, uh, earwax softeners that helps to dissolve the wax and let it come out by itself. Then do you or... just wipe it with yeah, it? And just tissue? wipe it out oh, on the outside okay. on or the see outside. a doctor to have it cleared. So, so why should we not dig it in that case? Like, why should we not be putting instruments in there? What happens when okay. we do that? Well, first of all, a Q-tip is rather big. And when we put the Q-tip in, you're actually packing the wax further into the canal. Oh, gosh. This can cause an issue with impacted earwax. That the doesn't second sound thing, good. Exactly. Yeah. And it also causes micro abrasions around the skin. And the skin in the ear is also very delicate. This predisposes the patient to infections. Oh. I've seen further damage with hooks and bobby pins when they've gone too deep or bobby when it's a sudden Bobby movement. Pins, wow. movement. Safety pins, have you ever seen that? Not safety <laughs> pins. No, I really hope not. <laughs> but that perforates the eardrum. Sure. That's, and you end up with a hole in the eardrum. I, I'm so curious as well, because it's kind of nasty, right, when you mm. see ear wax coming out and it sometimes can smell pretty gnarly as well. <laughs> so what is it made of exactly? Okay, ear wax is essentially made of a combination of dead skin cells uh, with the natural oils. And, um, essential oils? Any essential oils? <laughs> Lavender. <laughs> Well, the naturally occurring alcohols and uh, fatty acids, and uh, it's all mashed together, trapped some dirt as well, and it comes out of the ear. I'm looking at this photo right now, flashing up on the screen. What is this? A normal eardrum, or impacted, or well, no? Yeah. So this is a normal eardrum with a ear canal. So we're essentially looking at the ear in this direction. Mm, yeah? Okay. So you're looking down the canal, and the eardrum is right in front of you. It's nice and shiny. Mm. No, no infection. This there. is healthy. A healthy, healthy eardrum. Ear. Are there different types or different levels of severity when it comes to earwax or whatever stuck in our, our ear? Well, there are different colours of earwax. Mm. They're all normal. It depends on the oil composition, essentially. Oh, okay. I wouldn't be too worried about the colour. Um, but if you do see yellow or greenish discharge coming out, that would be a sign of infection. That's not wax. That is it's not okay. wax. You should see your doctor and have yellow it checked or out. green. I have a story. Yeah, okay, I'm ready for it. An ear story. Wait, does it involve anything being stuck in there? Because I... Yes. Oh, gosh. So, I was at a hotel. Oh, no. I can't listen to this. All of a sudden, and I wake up. I don't know. It must have been 2 a.m. And I have to go. I just... I I couldn't figure out what it was. But I felt like there was something burrowing its way into my brain. Okay, it, it literally felt like it was just trying to make its way into my brain. So I went to the A&E, right, the emergency room, and the doctor says, all right, let's take a look at this thing. And he goes in, oh God, and he oh looks, God. and he says, all right, you ready for this? No, no, And I no, said, no, no. I guess so. And he says, there's a cockroach. Ah, okay, that's my biggest fear. I'm sorry. That's my biggest fear and... of all time. <laughs> this is my big. I, I have nightmares about it. Like, I wake up in cold sweat of yeah. cockroaches. So then he does a flush, and he flushes it out with water. And then he goes, you want to see it? And I said, okay. And he shows me just a tiny little bug. No, he, was, no, no. he was joking with me. Oh. It wasn't a cockroach. He was totally messing with me. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, get it out, get it out. But it was just a tiny little bug, but it got so deep that it felt like it was making its way to my brain. I imagine you've experienced patients 
coming in with this kind of thing? Or? Yes, that's, that's actually not surprising. We've seen a variety of insects in the air, <gasps> flying insects, cockroaches oh, yeah. as well. We have. It's painful because the, the, uh, the insect would try to um, claw its way out. So the first thing you should do is exactly what you did. Go to the accident and emergency. The doctor there usually would uh, put some olive oil-based um, um, solutions into the ear. That will drown the insect, stop it from um, um, right, doing what, any yeah. further trauma or perforating the eardrum. And that also prevents it from resisting us taking it out. Okay. Right. Wait, hold on. Right. Are you so scared of insects? First, right. Are you oh, scared of insects? Yes, I am. <laughs> How do you do the job? Did you realize this was part of your closed, job? Like... <laughs> she operates with her eyes closed. I feel safe now. I feel really like safe. Like Rambo, but covering her eyes. Let's all do a consultation with her the next time we need that. Thank you so much, Dr. Don. We appreciate it. This has been an interesting chat. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you like this content and you want more, then be sure to catch the main series Let's Talk About Health on Channel 5 and MeWatch.